Hello, I'm Andrew Listen. Welcome back to Let's Play Solaris. It's the Gek Collective. We're currently uh, at war. Well, it's not really a proper war. They've got one planet and the Republic of Junior uh, kind of declared war. And then we were like, you know what? We'll join in as well. Maybe we'll actually be able to get something out of this. So uh, let's see if we get there in time to actually grab some spoils. It takes us a little time to travel there. So, you know. Construction complete. Traveling. Lots of tra Ooh, hello. Proto civilization. Construction complete. Where are you? Down here. Okay, that's, that's close enough. Ooh, hello. Space me, but yeah, we don't care about you, space me, but sorry. Where's our fleet? There. System survey complete. Research complete. Cold fusion reactor. Excellent. Ooh. This is a difficult choice. Synchronized defense is nice and it's rare and it's quick. But uh, point defense too, also really good. Really, really good. Um, especially because the AI tends to really like missiles. Physics lab, also really, really good. Uh, increases our amount of physics output. I will help, but by the way, surprising all three of them computing and you're not actually a computing person. Like there's no reason for that. It's just strange luck. Uh, I'm gonna go for barrier point defense too. It's the most expensive, but I'm going to do it. Right, so, yeah. They have a fleet here. Get the fleet. I mean, the fleet of transport ships. We can actually uh, try System and take this world. Complete. If we get there on time. Because... Construction complete. Research complete. They've bombarded it. The defenses are gone. Let's get ourselves in orbit, just in case. They've done all the hard work, right? They've bombarded it. They've got 2.2k uh, fleet strength. Can we have a look at your ships? Equipped with... Oh, damn. They've got plasma throwers, antimatter missiles, tier 2 coil guns, fusion reactors. Not cold fusion reactors, just plain fusion. Tier 2 deflectors, tier 2 armor. Their weapon tech is definitely more advanced than us. Definitely more advanced. Sorry, engineering research. What do we do? Uh, could do robot. Yeah. Could do uh, the route to cruisers. It'll take a while. Or small antimatter missiles. Uh, the thing about antimatter missiles is I, yeah, I don't think we'll really be going missiles. I don't think that's uh, our jam. Can dig in our coal guns. Especially because we have the thrusters for it. I'm gonna go robot. Um, oh, the temp. See, the temptation here is to go for spaceport though, and like sprint for cruisers. Uh, you know what? Because like each hull has a different role, I'm gonna sprint cruisers to find out what there is. Okay, we're beginning our uh, invasion. Construction complete. System survey complete. Yep, we're dominating. Oh, what's this? Is this their... Is this their troops coming through? It is. Too late. Enemy planet secured. We have 100% war score. Hi. Uh, I would like to um, force my demands. The best possible outcome. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have a choice. Uh, right. We're going to build a spaceport. Oh, they lack food. Oh, that's because we wrecked everything. Hi, repair. Um, in general, how are you feeling? Pretty terrible. Right, let's get down like a, a, a visitor center. They'll like that. We can't afford any edicts. Okay. They're like super unhappy because they've been conquered. Starvation, recently conquered. Alien overlords. Yeah, they're not happy. Well, yeah, they're going to have to deal with it. I mean, not that factions are really a thing. Factions really don't do anything, so I have to worry. Which is a shame. Uh, let's get the fleet up to here. Honestly, I'm really thinking hyperdrive is nowhere near as good as it used to be. Like, look at this. We're taking such esoteric routes to get back. 
and it's not as fast as it was. Maybe we should wipe out the space amoeba. Mm. I'll pass. Our troops need to heal. Construction complete. Right, and let's let's open a new sector. Boop. I said boop. Here we go. And we'll oh, I want to get it up there. I want to get it up here, and then we can get this Alpine world as well. I want this Alpine world, but the problem is they've got a damn thing over the top of it that's not doing anything. Yeah. I mean, provided they let me have access to uh, the thing at Gargantua, I'll live with it. For now. We'll look words later. Uh, science ship. Only three stars. You need more stars. Let's look at those, because they are in our domain. Okay. And then, who else? Construction ships are all free. Research stations and mining station. But you? Uh, I guess we do the research station? Observation post? Yeah, damn well doing that. Observation posts give a fault quite a lot of society research, so that's totally worthwhile. Totally, totally, totally. Totally worthwhile. Um, and then, ooh, that's so much minerals. Uh, but it would cost energy, and I don't really need minerals. Uh, we're going to do it anyway. I'm a terrible human being, what can I say? Okay, you have broken their non aggression pact with you. Okay, interesting decision. System survey border friction complete. minus five. Okay. Construction complete. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Research. And fifty percent chance of failure. Oh, science ship. Hello. You should. Oh, four stars. How old are you? Fifty. You've got a few more years left. In fact, if we get you to do the research project down here, that might be enough to get you up to the next level. I'm not going to even queue any more up. Because I need to get to level 5 so you can do the gargantua one. Alien writing. Okay. Why is there green here? Tundra world. Oh yeah, because I've got now got 900 people. I shouldn't do tundra worlds because um, they really hate me. And I don't want them to, you know, hate me that much. I need them to like me. Oh, at some point, we're going to have to need to relocate, like, our capital to the center. But for now, we're probably okay. Oh, colony ship. That's a tundra world. Belgium, we could. It's 11. That's a tundra world. Tundra world. Alpine. I really wish I could do this one. I mean, it's Alpine 20 and right next to... We need to have a war to do it. We'll see. I'm going to keep the colony ship for the moment. Like, well, we could do Belgium. It would cost us influence. And we've only got 100. I'm going to save it up for when we can do some of the more complicated ones. Like, you know, down here, etc. Um, are we converting you? We are not converting you. We are converting the one over here, however. I'm not putting the Tundra people up there. Not until they've converted. We'll leave the colony ships as it is. Uh, what else do we want? We could just spend some of this energy credit. Or we could. <laughs> we could just terraform this planet. Can we terraform it? Oh, you can't terraform it where there are people on there. That's uh, That should be a thing in the game, right? You should be able to terraform a planet with people on it. And it kills all the people, but I don't care because... I'm a lovely gecko. I, I like aliens. Maybe I shouldn't do that. 
Yeah, I won't. It's not possible, but the reason I'm doing it is because I'm nice. Totally. Not because it's not possible. Um, you're all healed. We'll embark. We will split, which is V? Yes, V. And then I kind of think we've got to split them up. I only want one of them. Land army. Land army. So that basically, if we do get attacked or go into war, then we're technically defending the world's nearest. Uh, colony ship, we're ignoring you. Fleet. Right, let's think about upgrading this fleet. Ship designer. So we have a new energy system. And we have afterburners. Oh. I don't think it's worth putting them in any of these slots. I mean, unless we're taking away power. No, uh, we can't do that. Okay. We've got coil gun 2, though, so... Upgrade coil gun 2. 10% extra power gives us bonus evasion. Excess power, plus 1%. Uh, is that really worth it? I mean, how much does that save us in terms of cost? 10 minerals. Mm, I don't think it's really worth it. I think that the saving the minerals is more important. Still with tier 1 shields, which is annoying, but we'll save it as it is. Ooh, actually. Combat speed plus 10%, chance to evade plus 3. That is worth it. Let's get that combat roll going. Uh, we could degrade the sensors. Oh, but the tracking bonus from sensors actually makes it worthwhile having the upgraded sensors. Yep. That, that changes things. That's totally worthwhile. Let's save that. Right, let us then select the destroyer. Uh, upgrade to coil gun, coil gun, coil gun. Right, if we give you intermediate combat compute, we get tracking and chance to evade. Um, we need more power. Five spare. I wonder if we can... Eh, five spare still. I don't think there's a way to really do that. Yeah, it's always going to be five spare. Actually. Yeah, okay. That works. We'll save. Right, how much would the upgrade cost? A thousand minerals. Okay. Good enough that it should make a difference. Ooh. 22%. We receive a weak signal from the surface. It appears to be a beacon. Very well. Construction complete. Do your beacon stuff. Anomaly found. Some percent briefly detected some unusual energy signatures. Construction complete. Ancient survey marker. Ooh. Uh, it was to mark minerals that were never used. Okay. Alien vessels. Ooh, void cloud. I like the fact they're rarer. They actually, they actually feel like just not annoying. I mean, they're still annoying, but in a ah, oh, they're, they're so annoying. They get in my way rather than a oh, they're really annoying kind of thing. I, I guess there's a difference. I'm, I'm sure you understand. Uh, right. Do, 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 do. No, our lizard wizard died. Research complete. Wait. Why are you just called emperor? You should be called lizard wizard. I mean, I guess it is an emperor in charge, but you should still be called the lizard wizard. Hmm. Is that a bug or just something I don't know about? Uplift. Excellent. Right. Uh, habitability plus 5%. Not bad. Frontier Clinic. Nice nerve capacity. Also nice. I actually want all of those things. Normally I ignore nerve capacity, but that's actually a... Ooh, regenerative hull. Actually goes in the A slot. It takes so long to do. It would take us 20 years. 
but it goes in the A slot. They would actually give us a purpose. I uh, can't really use this at the moment. Frontier Clinic would be nice. Um, this would also be nice, but it takes long to do, and it's a resource supposed to be uh, just a basic building. I'm actually going to go for the military theory, though. Even though I don't have a matching um, thing for it, I kind of want that, and it's quick to do as well. Construction complete. Ooh, physics. Sure. I will take bonus physics. Oh, Alpine 24? Wait, what? The terraforming was complete. Aha! Yes. Colonize. Straight up. Get down here. This world is going to be amazing. Uh, we will colonize here. That way we'll get the adjacencies. And that means we can get rid of the uh, outposts we've got here as well, once they've done that. And then hopefully you'll grow and expand and get more room around you. That This is honestly going to be a really awesome world. I'm so pleased we did that. And we don't have any defensive platforms, which is a shame, because I would love to have some defensive platforms. Around. Why have I not scanned this? I just need to scan this. Because I know they're going to hit me. Even though defensive platforms are still trashed here, at least they offer like a little bit of a... A speed bump. System survey complete. Construction complete. Crown Princess Vara. Explorer. Anomaly research speed plus. That's actually really useful. Uh, energy credits and destroy build cost. I approve. Okay, you're done up here. You should go over here and do the mining station and research station. Construction complete. Oh! Oh, I'm I'm a possible adversary. That's not nice. What did I ever do to you? Okay, you're my adversary as well now. And you're like, I like you. We've got a mutual enemy. Let's get a non-aggression pack going. And I'll offer you like a trade deal? Do you want a research agreement for a research agreement? No. We'll get the trust up. Maybe they'll go for it. Come on. You want to you be my vassal? Construction complete. Okay, System our stats are looking pretty complete. good. Let me take advantage of those at some stage. Special project complete. Ships upgrade. Excellent. Construction complete. You're still level four. God damn it! I thought we'd get more than that. Uh, we really need to, like, level you up. We'll serve this system. We'll serve this system since it does actually have something that we could do. Um... Then we'll serve this since it's nearby. I was really hoping for a bit more experience. You know what? Let's talk to curators. Communicate. I would like to tell us about the mysteries of the universe. <gasps> tell us about the ultimate dreadnought, the Ether Drake. His masters have been dead for millions of years, but this massive warship continues to stand vigil over the broken rubble of their empire. Tell us how to defeat it. 5,000 energy, and you get 25% damage against it. Was it really? It was one of several flagships belonging to an unusually powerful Nistar empire that flourished in a small region of our galaxy some seven millennia ago. Uh, I'm sorry, seven million years ago. 
The Empire was brought to a sudden and violent end at the hands of its neighbours in a series of very destructive wars. The Dreadnought you've encountered is the last of its kind that continues to dutifully patrol its assigned system despite the death of its crew. Many attempts have been made throughout the ages to put the old ship to the final test and none succeeded. Tell us about the Infinity Machine. Uh, it is beyond ancient for all we know. Okay. What is it really? It's impervious to extraction. No information comes out of it. No hacker engineer in the entire galaxy being able to see through its shiny exterior to gain a glimpse of the knowledge it holds within. Okay, what else do you have to offer? Tell us about the Ether Drake. Ill suited the life in our universe, the last dragon is strong but not invincible. What is it really? Predate all galactic civilization, then once more choose that the race has been wasting away for eons. Okay. I, have we actually met the Ether Drake? Apparently. Can you edit in a research? I'd like to do that. I really would love to do that. But it costs 3,000. I'm not quite there. Um, I don't think they have anything left to offer, actually. I think that's it. Let's just double check. But I think that was it. New star charts. Yeah, they have systems. Honestly, I actually want the research from like looking at systems, so I don't want that. Recruiting your scientists requires more opinion. But if we aid in research, we actually get to the point where we can recruit the scientists. Maybe that would be enough. Yeah, we should do this. We should save up energy, but we'll we'll need three thousand. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Uh, yes, do that. 7% chance. Let's just double check our leaders. Loads of 4 stars, no 5 stars yet. Okay. Keep it up. System survey complete. Construction complete. Oh, look complete. at that. 3,500 strength. Getting better. Alien writing, which, again, is familiar to us. Construction complete. Colony ship doing its thing. Hostile fleet. Oh, hello. Oh, the automated dreadnought. Yeah, you should you should avoid System that. System survey complete. I forgot about that. Whoopsie. Uh, instead, survey system. Oh, the space members there. Uh, we should probably kill them at some stage. They're annoying. Hello, construction ship. How can you help us? There is probably something you can help us with. I'm just trying to think what it would be. Uh, ooh, hello. Researchy stations. You have to call them researchy stations, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, right, let's also expand this, uh, what are you, Pythian Prime. Right, Pythian Prime. Sectors, Pyth, 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 Managed Sector. There we go. Ooh, we'll add that as well. Close. I say close. And then Pythian Prime. Click the settings button. Ooh. Right, we're going to make you a uh, financial focus. We'll allow you to do this. Allow colonization plants within sector border. Sure. No, I don't know. We'll leave it off for the moment. Build robots, not at the moment. Allow redevelopment of buildings. Sure. Respect tile resources. Yes. Sure. Okay, that seems reasonable. And let's start cranking up the tax base. Also, why has the Nafgun sector got absolutely nothing? Oh. Let's give you stuff. Maybe that'll make a difference. Research complete. Construction complete. Naval capacity. We're only three off the top now. Uh, I mean, the hull is so tempting, but it take way too long. Uh, 
Form Federation, eh. Energy Scython, eh. We're gonna do Living State. It's decent enough, even if it takes longer. I really want to fight that Dreadnought at some point. Ooh. One of our scientists leveled up and got Manacle, which means... No five stars. Oh, that's a shame. Who got Manacle, then? Oh, it doesn't show here, does it? Okay. It was you, wasn't it? Ooh. Uh, ah! 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 Things! We've encountered people. Um, yes. Bronze Age. Where is this? It's over here. Interesting. Right. The creature observed in the system is unlike the anything we've encountered before. Highly aggressive and destructive capabilities to match. Guarantees a planet, uh, it guards a planetoid that gets, is essentially resource rich. Not that I know that. But it also appears to be a molten world, which, you know, we can't do anything about. Oh, Dragon's Horde. Molten world. Okay. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, dragon. Hi. Can we can we spin around and get a look at Oh. Oh, you look you look pretty scary. Okay. We're gonna leave you to that. I'm I'm not No. No, I don't I don't want to fight you. Not not now. Not for a while. I want like 10k before we It's got the dreadnought and the dragon there. Oh no, sorry. Dreadnought here, dragon there, infinity sphere over here. Is there more to the galaxy or is it just, oh, everything's in this little, like, square here? We're totally gonna have to go to war just for this bit. It's it's too valuable. Will you be my vassal yet? Still 26. Now yeah, we need to get bigger. Really? We need to be bigger? You have literally got one planet! I don't know how they think they've got any bargaining chips for that one. But whatevs. Anyway, uh, I've been Enter Elysium. If you have enjoyed, please remember to like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you know, maybe it's worth considering subscribing and hitting that button next to uh, subscribe. That actually means you get notified about uh, all the fun series. Is. Oh, we lost. Yeah, it'll grow when we get a colony. Um, but yeah, until next time, it's been me. Uh, it's, it's goodbye from me and uh, stay shiny and from the Get Collective. Stay shiny and also be a gecko. It's awesome. Bye.